The arts can change the world. Travel with me, artist John Dyer. Be inspired. Learn about plants, animals, and people. Connect to tribal culture. Create. Paint. Exhibit. Connect. So I'm setting up to paint today, so it's, uh, it's 8 o'clock, 8.40 in the morning and it's so hot I'm even wondering whether I can cope, cope with it but I think once I'm concentrating on painting this river I, I, I'll manage to do it but it is, it, I can't explain how hot and humid it is today. So it's so hot today and there's no shelter from, from the sun where I'm painting. I want to paint the river and the jungle behind me. I'm just going to go swimming and then I'm going to paint dripping wet while my Rohan clothes dry off. And that will help to act a bit like sort of um, air conditioning, I guess. So here I go. So I'm feeling a lot cooler now. I chose this part of the river, this side, this side of the river, to, because this comes out of the rainforest. It doesn't get much sun. The main channel is much warmer because that comes all the way from Peru and gets loads of sun. But now I'll paint looking wet in about two hours. These uh, clothes will be dry and they also act as a sunscreen to me. So they're my armour for the rainforest. I'm using the umbrella for shade because it's just full sun today and it's crazy hot. Our trip's now drawing to a close and today's the last day of painting and tomorrow's our final day in the village. And I've got a cold today and I'm really missing some home comforts and I'm definitely suffering from some hummus withdrawal. I can't wait to get home and just have the biggest hummus sandwich. So this, this indicates this is a, a traditional headdress for, for the shaman and um, uh, this is uh, animal uh, patterns in here. The key, kunu, kunu, miração. Yeah, yeah, and this is to do the spirits and, and those patterns from the, from the forest. And I've just given him some paintbrushes so he can go and put some colour onto this now. So I'm just putting the canoes, starting to sketch out the canoes in the painting. And um, Martha, if you pan to me, this is an hour and a half since my swim. And I'm dry. I might have to swim again in a minute. So Nishiwaka and Merlin have gone hunting. They got up at five o'clock this morning and they went straight up there, up the river towards uh, Peru. Now, hunting is controversial, but hunting keeps the tribe sustainable. And what you haven't seen, and we're not going to film, is that the tribe also have pigs here. Uh, and they're farming pigs, and they're actually quite distressed to animals. Whereas when they hunt, it's all very natural and sustainable. So we're going to bring you some footage of what they've caught, and we'll talk about more about that later. Hunting. We went hunting this morning, left at about 5.30. Uh, walked from about six miles into the middle of the jungle. Very, very virgin forest, beautiful diptrocarps, closed canopy, absolutely stunning. No sign of human um, interference at all. And we saw lots of wildlife on the way there. Saw a five foot long snake, black, very long. Definitely, definitely very poisonous. And as she told me, they said it with every snake. Uh, we saw deer tracks, we saw toucans, we saw monkeys. And at the very, very end, we found a troop of howler monkeys. And Nishi was determined that he would shoot a howler monkey, which I didn't really want him to do because I think they're very beautiful. So we chased these things off the track for about 20 minutes, uh, very, very quickly, constantly getting a bead on, constantly not being able to take the shot. And then the, the monkeys got away from us, which was good. But um, we were completely lost by this point. So we spent about an hour thrashing around in the jungle, getting closer and closer to Peru, convinced that we were going to have to live out there for the next two years before we found a river. Uh, which took us back to the main river and that's where we found the jaguar tracks. Lots of very fresh jaguar, deer and peccary tracks all the way up this river bank, which was really beautiful. Uh, and then on the way back through, just after we'd seen a beautiful scarlet macaw, this huge bird like a phoenix that flew overhead and then perched near us, which again Nishi wanted to shoot and I didn't want him to and so he didn't. Um, we came across some turkey-like birds called jacamese, which are delicious eating and and there are lots of them. And Nishi 
shot one of those with the oldest and most dangerous gun I've ever seen that they load the cartridges themselves. I was positive it was going to blow up in his hands and take his head off. Uh, and we shot one of, well, he shot one of those, a very good shot. And has brought it back and we're going to have it for supper tonight. So I've just finished my last painting of the Spirit of the Rainforest expedition to the Yawanawa tribe and I'm really pleased with it but I don't think I've ever been as hot in my life and I've painted in Australia and Peru and all over the world and I literally I've got to go and seek shade I've had to swim twice but this is a great joy hope you like it. There are so many butterflies down here all sorts of different species they're absolutely beautiful and they're all, they're all taking up the salts from this very clay-like soil here. 